Hello, my name is Christy Campbell, and for this second video forum, I chose Jane McRae. I chose her because of a story which my husband had told me regarding his great-great-grandmother who was scalped by Indians in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. She did survive her attack. Unfortunately, Jane McRae did not. Um, I learned during my research for this particular forum that historians, historians must be objective and honest in their investigation. I came across many different sources to use for this forum. Um, three really stood out and they were the ones that I that I had used for this. I'm um, not sure if you've ever heard of Jane McRae. Um, she was killed in upstate New York in late July 1777 and buried near Fort Edward. There have been conflicting reports of her death. She was a British captive who was murdered by Indians. As the story goes, McRae was murdered in her wedding gown by Indians who were entrusted to escort her from a friend's, from a friend's res residence near Fort Edward across the battlefield into the loving arms of her Tory fiance, David Jones. He was an officer in General Burgoyne's army who was camped at nearby Fort Anne. Her escorts did not deliver on their promise, um, disagreeing over who deserved the largest share of the reward of rum. The Indians raped, scalped, and murdered McCray, though at the time she was praying on her knees for mercy. There are some accounts saying her captures um, disagreed over her fate. One tried to save her and the other killed her anyways. Um, there, there is an actual really good primary account of, um, of what happened. Um, a gentleman self-identified just as a gentleman on the scene in 1777. I'm going to read to you what he explained he saw. He says, it would take too much time to enumerate every action of this kind. One instance which happened yesterday during the skirmish may serve for the whole. A young lady of the name of Miss Jenny McRae, they called her Jane McRae, Jenny McRae, of a good family and some share of beauty, was by some accident at Fort Edward. When the enemy attacked the picket guard, she and an old woman whom she was with were taken by the savages. And then with a barbarity unheard of before, they butchered the poor innocent girl and scalped her. So that was a pretty interesting firsthand account of somebody who was there and saw exactly what happened. Um, I do have a picture that I'd like to share with you. Um, this just, I know it's maybe hard to see. This is a picture of the Indians when they were um, attacking her and right before, obviously, she died. Um, the Indians had accused, I'm sorry, the Indians accused of murdering Jane um, claimed that Jane was accidentally shot by American soldiers. This is a different report that I had found. I never had heard that before, but maybe that was just the way of the accused were trying to blame somebody else other than, than himself, but blaming the Americans for it. Um, then he was claiming that the Americans had shot them or had shot her during an ambush. The soldiers had ambushed them, the Indians, and then had shot her when they had her captive. Um, Regardless, the murder of Jane McRae was catapulted into American folklore, and um, if you have seen it, it was even used in um, James Fenimore Cooper's *The Last of the Mohicans*. So, if you've ever have ever read that, you'll know. You know, you might recognize the story. Um, again, I think it's a very interesting story to say the least. I know a lot of people had a lot of fear of the Indians. Indians were known for scalping people. Um, and at least with the history or the story that my husband had told me regarding his great grandmother, I mean, obviously she was lucky enough. She survived being scalped. Um, but Miss McCray, unfortunately did not. And of all times and places, um, she was on her way to her wedding, which should have been a beautiful, beautiful day for her. And unfortunately it ended in tragedy for her and for her fiance. Um, thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.